Hello everyone, welcome to Physics is Fun. So, what's our today's problem? A skier travels with a constant speed of 6 meter per second along a parabolic path. And that the equation of that parabolic path is y equal to x squared by 20. Find the acceleration of the skier at 10 comma 5, 10 meter comma 5 meter neglecting the size of the skier so there is a skier who is skiing on a parabolic path and that equation of parabola is y is x square by 20 our goal is to find the acceleration of the skier while he is skiing on that parabolic path at uh, the coordinate points 10 meter comma 5 meter we can neglect the size of the skier so let's proceed with the problem so first and the foremost thing, it is given that the skier is moving with a constant speed on this parabolic trajectory, right? So what we can say that the speed is constant. So this is 6 meter per second and that is constant. So if this is constant, then therefore we can say that the tangential acceleration is DDT of modulus of V and that must be zero because it is moving with a constant speed so there is no tangential acceleration now always we know that as the total acceleration this capital T a suffix capital T is total acceleration is can be written as tangential acceleration square plus radial acceleration square whole to the power half so here our tangential acceleration is zero. So what we are going to get? We are only going to get the radial acceleration. This is a very important thing. So in this particular situation, the total acceleration of the system is equal to its radial acceleration. And this radial acceleration is nothing but V square by the radius of this path at that particular point. We already know the core concept on radius of curvature so this is the radius of curvature of the parabolic trajectory at that mentioned point coordinate point okay as you read the question 10 comma 5 now now what is this capital r what is r r is equals to 1 plus dy dx whole to the power 3 by 2 divided by d2 by dx2 dear students i already discussed the derivation of this formula in one of the core concept videos there it is written radius of curvature core concept please see that video and then you will understand how this formula is coming now y is equals to it is given x squared by 20 so therefore dy dx if i do it is 2x by 20 so that is x by 10 now the points are mentioned 10 comma 5 so at the point 10 comma 5 dy dx <coughs> is 10 by 10 and that is nothing but 1 similarly d2 by dx2 is 1 by 10 so what we can say so radius of curvature r that is equals to 1 plus dy dx is 1 whole to the power 3 by 2 divided by d2 by dx2 is 1 by 10 so therefore capital R is how much 10 into 2 to the power 3 by 2 meter so this is the radius of curvature of that parabolic trajectory the radius of curvature of the parabolic trajectory at the mentioned coordinate point 10 comma 5 once we know this we already know V so we can find out the radial acceleration so therefore what we can say so therefore the radial acceleration 
is v square by r and v is 6 so 6 square divided by 10 into 2 to the power 3 by 2 ok so basically it is 36 divided by 10 into 2 root 2 so 2 and say 9 uh, sorry I can take away 2 from here also so basically from here 20 I am cancelling 4 so 9 divided by 5 root 2 so it is 1.8 by root 2 root 2 is nearly 1.4 so 1.8 by 1.4 so 18 by 14 9 by 7 and uh, I can say that this is nearly equals to the total acceleration that is equals to this radial acceleration and it is nearly equals to 1.3 meter per second square. So what is your answer? Your answer is 1.3 meter per second square. So that's all with this problem. I hope this problem has cleared some fundamental concept of circular motion. And we must remember this core concept. What is the formula for radius of curvature uh, of a curve at a particular point? And until and unless we know this formula, it becomes difficult to solve these problems. So I think that you found this problem useful in understanding some basic concepts. Have a good day, everyone.